good. There you are. Uh-oh, here we go again. I bet you need me to write yet another script. Well, no, not another episode. Good. Uh, wait, what? Did we get canceled again? Unfortunately, the network decided not to renew the limited series for another season. Something about being beaten in the ratings by a rerun of that really old movie, Throngor Discovers Pants. I'm really worried that the Gorgon Chronicles will be coming to an end soon. It was a clip show, after all. At least now, I get to take a break from writing. Not so fast. But you just said we were canceled again. Yes. So why are you here in my quarters exactly, Grosso? So you see, the network lost the rights to some holiday special this year. One they run every year. It's not Throngor coming to town, is it? I really like the catchy song in that one. You know the one about Throngor smashing the snowman with his big war hammer? Maybe. I really didn't pay much attention to that sort of stuff. But they do want us to make something to fill the time slot, as they have a hole in their schedule. So get writing. So write a Christmas special? There's that word again. Uh, what word? The one you just said. They kept mentioning that word over and over. Special? No, the other one. Right? No, the other other one. A? No, the other 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 longer word that you just said. Well, by process of elimination, Christmas? Yes, that's what they want. A cri cri Christmas special. What? A very grosso gorgon Christmas special? Hey, that's a great name. See, you have already started. Better than the trial of grosso, the one you came up with last time. You really don't know what Christmas is, do you? Um... The reason for the season and all? I thought it had something to do with the critical mass of fissionable materials used to heat your earth houses in the wintertime. No, that's not quite right. You see, it's all about a child. Like the one in that bad prequel movie that no one likes? No, the child Christ, born to a virgin. If they had just killed that kid off, it would have saved all the characters a lot of grief later on. Christ? No, the kid in the prequel movie. Look, I got bigger fish to fricassee. Just get to writing, and be sure and mention the sponsor. There is a sponsor? Yes, Molly Gaddison. They make those snack cakes. Be sure and mention all their products in the dialogue. Right. I'll just make a note to add in a, a zinger every so often. I see what you did there. A singular occurrence, for sure. Which reminds me, they don't want any double entendres in the script. Aww. Yeah, I think it's for budgetary reasons. Right, so I'll only use single entendres, as those will cost less? You got it. I gotta run before this current situation snowballs out of control. Didn't you just say no double entendres? Or did you just mention a Molly Dadison product? Uh, hey, how about a new typewriter? This one no longer has a working T key on it. Just be sure and stay up all night working on it. We start shooting tomorrow. But, but... Is there something wrong with my butt? Hmm, oh well. There's a mirror in my cabin. I'll go check it out there. Keep writing. And the series. Christmas special. Best to go out with a bang, then. I mean, what's wrong with some major disasters in a Christmas special? Maybe a fight to the death. <laughs> that just screams Christmas, doesn't it? I'll give Grosso a special that would make Irwin Allen proud. Now, who can I kill off first? Merry Grotting Christmas! Molly Dadison proudly presents a very Grosso Christmas special featuring Grosso Gorgon, Whitson, Cork, 
go. Smitty. Thomas. Pi Squared. With special guest stars, Emperor Vlerd the 18th. The evil Grand Vizier. Princess Buffy. Engineer Steve. And the unfortunate Chad. Indeed, like the unfortunate Chad. Ha 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 